Man, I can't believe our prof is making us do work right now. Like, come on, it's New Year's Eve. I know, what a drag. But speaking of New Year's, what's your New Year's resolution? Uh, honestly, I've been trying to like just get healthy and become fit. I've been doing more exercise, doing yoga, meditating, eating less processed sugars, drinking a bottle of red wine every night, uh, eating vegetables. Whoa, whoa, pause. What, what's wrong? You've been drinking a full bottle of red wine every night? Yeah. Why on earth would you be doing that? Um, I read a scientific news article that said that drinking a bottle of red wine can prevent cancer. I don't know. I think we should dive into the science of that. Sure. So this article says that red wine contains a large concentration of a compound called resveratrol. Resveratrol has properties that can halt cancer cell spreading and growth. So what exactly is resveratrol? Resveratrol is an antioxidant, which is a class of compounds that target dysfunctional or abnormal cells in the body. It is found in the skin of grapes, blueberries, and has the highest natural concentration in Japanese knotweed, which has been used in Asian medicine to treat inflammation for centuries. Okay, but how exactly does resveratrol prevent cancer? Research suggests that resveratrol selectively targets cancer cells by inhibiting cancer cell division, migration, and tumor growth, promoting cancer cell death, and using its antioxidant properties to prevent damage to your DNA, which often leads to tumor development. Since resveratrol was first discovered as a possible anti-cancer treatment, a multitude of animal studies have been conducted and offer mixed results on the efficacy of resveratrol as a cancer therapeutic. On the bright side, one recent study conducted by Tan and colleagues in 2016 found that resveratrol decreased ovarian cancer cell progression in mice, supporting its potential as a treatment option. So what are the effects of resveratrol in humans? Unfortunately, there is little clinical evidence of the effectiveness of resveratrol in cancer treatment in humans. Many studies have used small sample sizes of cancer patients and thus have limited data. However, purified resveratrol from Japanese knotweed or synthetic generation has been shown to have poor bioavailability when consumed. This means that it gets metabolized rapidly and cancer cells are not able to absorb it effectively in the body. Overall, studies are in support of using resveratrol in cancer prevention in humans, but further clinical trials using larger sample sizes need to be conducted to study the efficacy and safety of resveratrol in cancer patients. So does that mean there's enough resveratrol in red wine for use in cancer prevention and treatment? Of course not! Animal studies indicate that a 500 mg daily dose of resveratrol may be the ideal, and since red wine contains at most 12.59 mg of resveratrol per liter, you would have to drink almost 40 liters of red wine a day to experience its therapeutic effects. But in the process, you would just die of liver failure. So does that mean I'm wrong? That this legit scientific news article is wrong? What does this all mean? Allow me to explain. Although drinking excess of red wine every day won't be effective in cancer prevention or therapy, resveratrol has been supported as an effective cancer preventative agent and may be a potentially successful cancer therapeutic. More work needs to be done on enhancing the bioavailability of the drug, achieving consistent results for animal studies and clinical studies, and exploring its effects on different tumor types and population demographics. Overall, research summarizes that there is no conclusive indication that resveratrol can serve as a viable treatment option once tumors have formed, but acts preferentially better as a cancer preventative agent. So you see, based off of these animal trials which have mixed results and these clinical trials which have limited results, it looks like more work clearly needs to be done. And it looks like you'd need to drink a lot of red wine before you get enough resveratrol. And by that time, you would just die of liver poisoning. Yeah. Wow, that really was eye-opening. I really need to be critical of what I see on the internet before I validate any claims. By the way, this article doesn't even have any references. What if I wanted to see the studies? You know what? I should really look into the evidence-based science and make sure the news article is correct. You got that right. And besides, you should really stop drinking full bottles of red wine every night. Yeah, for sure. But I think we should get back to work before our prof comes back. Fine!